Yo, welcome back to the video. Last video, and today I'm gonna be showing off a beefy, tanky Aerodactyl V Star deck. This is actually um, from Japan. Unfortunately, I can't find like the original link or who made the deck, but it is from Japan. So credit to whoever kind of came up with the idea. But I've taken that concept and kind of improved upon it and made some tweaks and changes. But the whole idea of this deck is Aerodactyl does have a lot of bulk. Mainly because it has a lot of cards that give it tankiness. You got Gardevoir. Gardevoir makes Aerodactyl take 20 less damage from Vs. You got Full Face Guard. Of course, if you don't use your V-Star power, you can pull, play Full Face Guard, which is an extra 20. And then Lake Acuity. If you have a Fine Energy on it, take 20. And then Stone Energy. Take even less damage. So you have a lot of damage reduction with this deck. Minus 80 damage reduction, in fact. And on top of that, because you're milling so many cards a turn with Aerodactyl's Attack, Lost Dive, that puts the top three cards of your deck in the Lost Zone on top of Colrus's, it's actually pretty easy to pull off a Fantina, which can make all make your Pokemon take 120 less damage from V Pokemon, adding on top of all the damage reduction you already have within this deck. And that is the whole idea and concept of this deck. Aerodactyl can thankfully attack with a Fighting Energy and a Double Turbo Energy, making it pretty easy to build up and this is the list that i got here for the aerodactyl decks so yeah for the question to sponsor card cavern tcg as always if you're ever looking for any pdcgo pack codes make sure to get them over at card cavern card cavern does sell codes in line for the cheapest so if you're looking for any set codes of course like the main set lost origin right now get them over at card cavern if you get any codes at card cavern at the checkout make sure to use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help channel help yourself out and up a car cabin. So, yeah, if you're looking to pick up any PCGO codes, get them at Car Cabin and use code LDF. Also, make sure to go subscribe to the Shuffle Squad down below. Every Monday, I do post a new video on the channel. And then every Thursday, which today is a Thursday, a new episode of the podcast goes live. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Our, the episode today, we have another guest on the podcast. Somebody who did really well at Peoria Regionals. You definitely do not want to miss out on that one. If you're in a podcast, it'd be great appreciated if you went ahead and gave it a watch. But yeah, let's take a look at the Tanky Aerodactyl list. Again, unfortunately, I was unable to find the original uh, person who made this uh, deck idea. I got sent it to me in the DMs by my friend PJ, who is on the Shovel Squad. He sent me this list. I was like, yo, LDF, you should try out this Tanky Aerodactyl deck. Yeah, Aerodactyl is pretty good. I mean, it does 240 with the double turbo. It's 220. And 220 is pretty relevant numbers. At least you're not going to have a normal V Pokemon. And again, milling the top three cards of your deck is fine. We can play into that using Guru. We can use Guru to put uh, kind of useless cards on top of our deck when we do Aerodactyl. Like Battle VIP or even uh, other things we just don't want to do in a match. Like if there's any cards in our hand that we don't ever need in a match, we can probably with some on top of the deck to mill them with Lost Dive. And the big thing is we are using Lost Dive and Colrus to kind of work towards... Fantina. Fantina, of course, works when you have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone, and you can use the effect of Fantina, where all your Pokemon will take one 20 less damage from Pokemon V, which is really powerful. Of course, it does help a lot against decks that can struggle to hit Aerodactyl really hard. And of course, when you have full face cards, Stone Energy, Lake Acuity, and Radiant Gardevoir, all giving you those damage modders, that's fine. Now, you don't really have to use Ancient Star that much. It's not that good. In fact, even matchups where you could use it, like theoretically against Palkia, or Arceus, you might want to use it. The problem is Palkia and Arceus, at that point, they'll probably already have an advantage over you, or at the very least, they don't really care if they don't have their V-Star, because Aerodactyl has to not be in the act. You, you get, it has to be not knocked out, right, in order to use it. So you kind of have to move Aerodactyl to the bench. I don't think Ancient Star is that good in this deck, in all honesty. Ancient Star is not good. The only matchup you're ever going to use it in is maybe Mew VMAX if you go first, and they get a bit of a weaker start. And you might want to use it against Shadow Rider. That's really about it. Or like, I don't know, E-Turn is VMAX, I guess. But like, there's really no matchup where Ancient Star is honestly all that useful. Like against Arceus, if they just attack you, if they just have like an energy attachment kind of synergy going, you don't, it doesn't really matter if you Ancient Star them. They don't care if they don't have Star Birth. Or Palkia won't matter. They won't really care if they don't have Star Portal. It's just like Ancient Star is really not that great in a lot of scenarios. Which means you don't need it so you can use Full Face Guard. If you Ancient Star with Full Face Guard on that Aerodactyl, doesn't have full face guard activated. Full face guard will not activate if you use Ancient Star on that Aerodactyl. So don't full face guard air, your Aerodactyl that you Ancient Star onto. Um, I am playing Big Parasol. Helps against Sableye. And of course, Giratina V-Star. Very popular card right now. We do have the Cram. Since we are using a lot of Lost Zone cards, we might as well play one Cram because it'll help us against something like Mill Tank. And it's a nice attacker to have in some scenarios. I am playing a 1 Mubbit Barrel, 1 Luminia, 1 Crobat, 2 Guru. Our draw support in the deck is really 4 Chorus, 2 Avery on top of these extra draw cards, mainly because we're milling so many cards a turn. If we're playing 4 Marnie, 4 Research, I mean, we're just going to mill them a lot of the time. And Research, we don't want to play either because 
we're gonna dump our hand. It's actually really easy to deck out this deck if you're not careful. So you have to be really cautious of that. That's why there's no research in the deck. We don't want to draw too many cards a turn, and we don't want to deck ourselves out. So that's why it's we're kind of playing a little bit cautiously with the draw support. I am playing a couple of Mirage Gates. I'm experimenting with this, but in the later half of the game, you can use Mirage Gate to accelerate to Aerodactyl and then attach for turn and build it up a little bit easier. So we're gonna try uh, Mirage Gate in the deck and see if it's any good that's the list let's go try down peace joe and see what we can do with tanky aerodactyl all right looks like we are gonna go first with aerodactyl here let's see what this aerodactyl deck can do even if we're playing against arceus we do have obviously the type advantage we'll see how it goes now the interesting thing about playing against arceus with aerodactyl is i actually don't know if i want to use my v-star power because like it's nice to have but i feel like the v like if my opponent just gets to turn energy on their arceus even shut off star birth doesn't really do much oh it's shadow rider though I guess we actually do want the V-Star power here. Sure, we'll get to pickaxe. Yeah, that was good. So I guess we actually do want the V-Star power then, I guess. I wasn't expecting Shadow Rider, but this is a matchup where Aerodactyl V-Star does go pretty hard. We can definitely use this V-Star power in this matchup to slow my opponent down, so we'll try to use it. My opponent has a pretty good start, though. Double. They got the quad Shadow Rider turn one, it looks like, as long as they don't prize any of their Shadow Rider Vs. That's pretty insane. Hmm. It's fine, though. Again, we can Ancient Star them here. They grab Articuno. Surprised they did that. They do have resistance to fighting, so my damage output is a little weak, but... Again, Ancient Star can carry us here. Then we can work towards using this uh, Fantina. Assuming we can find the Ancient Star. I don't have an insane amount of draw next turn. We'll see what we can do, though. Okay, what do we draw? The barrel, I can't play that. So if I attach the active, I can rock crush, rock crush, leaving chaos. So I think I'd rather just put that there. We have the crowbat here, I think, for three, and then hopefully get Aerodactyl. Didn't get it there. There's always a chance I can Luminion or Colrus. I need to see the most amount of cards this turn, so I think I have to Luminion here. I need to find a Colrus. I need to get this Aerodactyl off so I can shut off my opponent's V Star. There we go. Grab that. That. And that. Okay, cool. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. So now we can Ancient Star my opponent. Um, I do have to Quick Ball here. I don't want to get rid of the Lake Acuity. I want to get... Like, actually, I can't... Honestly, I can't remember if I have Bidoof in the deck or not. So I can get Guru. I don't want to get rid of Aerodactyl. I guess we have to get rid of Lake Acuity. That feels bad. I don't want to get rid of anything else, though. I want to get Bidoof down. Because we got a barrel. Ancient Star. Okay. There we go. My opponent no longer has Underworld Door. And that's what I wanted to do. And uh, with the Lake Acuity in play, hopefully we uh, don't get hit hard. Because they can do 120. They'll only do 100 here. And then next turn we can go off. But yeah, no. We just wanted Ancient Star. Now we just have to try to go into another Aerodactyl and start swinging. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, without Underworld Door, hopefully we're pretty chilling in this matchup. Once we set up the Fantina... We can try to make Aerodactyl super beefy. So we'll see how it goes. Luckily, we got the double turbo down. They could have shadow misted me, but they can't now. They just crest and glow. Yeah, they don't got it like that. So we have to go into the other Aerodactyl here, obviously. There's Gardevoir. Don't think we really need Gardevoir in this matchup. I think I'd rather bench Bear. Well, actually, no, Gardevoir's still good. Shadow Rider, the less damage it does, the better. All right, we're going to switch. The barrel for three. Can we find an energy slash aerodactyl? We do not. We get double turbo. We can Avery here. Nah, we didn't get aerodactyl. Rip. We got rock crush though, which we'll have to do for now. So I need to keep this thing alive as long as possible. It's fine. Rock crush does get rid of the energy on the Cresselia, and if they don't have an energy here, then it's going to be punishing for them. We do have a lot of reduction right now thanks to fighting plus Gardevoir. We have another Avery for next turn. Hopefully he comes in clutch. But we're in a pretty good spot right now, I want to say. Uh, my opponent can still build up energy, though. They did get that early Cresselia off, which did give my opponent a pretty good jump start here. It's not perfect. If I can draw the V-Star, I think I am going to go boss Shadow Rider. I could boss it now and Rock Crush it. It's not a good idea, though. They are building up a lot of energy. Which is definitely scary. Um, it's going to fail that. So I can go boss Shadow Rider... I think I'm just going to be barrel for one first. See what I get. Fighting. Okay. So I don't mind killing Cresselia here. But I would prefer to get the V-Star going. 
I could go after the other Shadow Rider. I could just boss this up and then get rid of the energy on this active. Because Lost Dive does 240. Well, does 220. Minus 30. does 190. Hmm. It's tempting just to boss this thing and get damage on it. Yeah, you know what? I'm fine with that. Let's do it. This way, too. They have to have an energy in their hand or else they... Uh, well, they can hard retreat into the other Shadow Rider, but that's not really great for them. See what I'm saying? They could retreat into Cresselia, but then they just give them more energy. No matter what, if they have to retreat here, as long as they know a switch or energy, they have to give up energy, which reduces their damage output overall, which is kind of my thought process by gusting this thing. Okay, they got another VMAX. They could retreat into that, but again, they have to give up energy to do that. So it's like, do they really want to do that? All right, one card in hand. What is it going to be? I need to find my Fantinas, too. Okay, they don't have anything. Nice. So my little plan worked. All right, but Barrel for one... Ultra Ball, there we go. We got the Aerodactyl. So let's Avery first. Nice, there we go. Now we're talking. Let's see what they get rid of here. Probably the Cresselia that they benched, or the one with damage. If they get rid of the one with damage, it's one less energy they have to work with for their damage output. Now we can just Ultra Ball here. Grab the Aerodactyl. We're going to start milling our deck. We only have 18 cards left. We have to be a little careful. That's fine, though. Or maybe it was better to honestly just remove their energy again, honestly. I don't know. Let's just see what we got. Ooh, we did lose that V-Star. So we only have the two Aerodactyls to work with now, but that's fine. We are at right right, right now. Five, only five cards in the Lost Zone. Hmm. And they pass again. All right, I'll take it. We'll Lost Hive again and just mill even more cards. Okay, we do lose a Chorus. That's fine. We haven't lost any other Fantinas yet, which is good. All right, we take three prizes. Guru, Ultra Ball... Fighting energy. All right, that's good. So we're at what? I think we're at eight right now, right? Five, eight, yeah. So one more lost dive, and we have Fantina. I just want to deck out, though. Ooh, they do Marnie me. I'm fine with that, though. Everything in our hand was just kind of, like, mediocre. We can also draw the Fantinas here in our deck, and then we can play Fantina as soon as possible. Yeah, there we go. We got full face cards, too, which is good. There's Fog Crystal. They can't do anything about Ancient Star, though. That's the nice thing. Is nope, we're, we're not playing Path. We're literally using Aerodactyl, so they just don't have their abilities right now. That actually, Mar that Marty might have helped me, though. That put cards in my deck. Hopefully, we can draw the Fantina. I'm tempted to bit Barrel here to try to get that other Fantina out of the deck. They're doing 120 damage. That's fine. Go full face guard, full face guard. Yeah, we'll bit Barrel for two. See if I can find this Fantina. No. Damn, okay. I can shuffle the deck with Evil Incense. So I don't... Oh, we only have the... Oh, so the other Fantina's prized. Oh. So we'll do that anyways, just to shuffle. And then we'll Lost Dive. So I get... All right, that's fine. We'll see we mill. Not the Fantina, that's for sure. Now we can play Fantina, which is good. Now we can play Fantina here and make our Aerodactyl super tanky. We'll see what my opponent's able to do here. They actually have to move the Shadow Rider. But again, without Underworld Door, they're just kind of stuck not being able to do anything. We have another Marnie. Okay, well, there goes that Fantina. We just can't play it. We well, can probably draw the other Fantina off this Marnie, though. And I can probably barrel into Fantina. No. Rip. That's fine. They have to retreat here, but even then, they're not doing a lot of damage. They have a training cord. Okay, that does help my opponent. I can use that, too, though, which is actually pretty good. All right, let's see what they do here. The double turbos does make me boss-proof. And they do just take a knockout. Okay. They do have the KO... And that's just game. We didn't really get to use Fantina here, unfortunately, but we kind of just ran him over. My game plan went the way I wanted it to. Ancient Star, shut off Shadow Rider, and then pray. And there's Fantina. We'll play the Fantina, and then we'll just Lost Dive for the win. Fantina didn't really do anything at that point, but we'll take it anyways. We take the dub. There's Fantina, Mirage Gate, Cram. We take those. There you go. That's, that's the deck. Boom. All right, we are going to be going... First, with a mulligan, kind of revealing to my opponent we're playing some kind of fighting deck here with Mirage Gate and, like, Acuity and using Lawson. But they might not expect this to be more, like, not actually have any comfies in it. All right, what are we looking at here? Okay. Mm, good hand. We'll take it. I like it. What are we up against, though? What do I want a Quick Ball for, too? I could get Bidoof, or I could wait to play the Quick Ball. If I bench anything, they could rope me or something, right? It's probably not a good idea. Oh, it's a Giratina deck. Okay. It's beatable. It's going to pass. The hand is good. I don't want to do anything. I might even do Crobat, too. Because I do want to make sure I get an attack off this turn. 
Turn 2 KO on this Giratina is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good call not to bench anything, though, because we might see an escape rope from my opponent here. Like, I could have maybe went Crobat there with the Quick Ball Dig for Battle VIP, but I think it's fine. We'll just hold off on it. Giratina's beatable. We do need to set up the uh, Fantinas, though, so that we can tank a hit, which is kind of important. It is pretty important to set up that, so we'll see how that goes. I don't think we ever need Ancient Star in this matchup, right? I mean, yeah, shutting off maybe like a Luminion, maybe if they play, but I doubt that'll be relevant. It's only V-Pope on, right? Yeah. If I shut off Greninja, I'd be inclined to. All right, they do get Comfy. Will they find a switch, though, is the question. Do they have a switch here? Let's see. They got a huge hand. They might have a Chorus. They could Marnie me. Actually, getting Marnie would be pretty bad. This hand is actually really good. I mean, they could Marnie me. We'll see if they end up doing it. There's Quick Ball. Probably going to get Radiant Greninja, I imagine. Or they're going to grab something else. It might just be Radiant Greninja, though. No, they do get Luminion. Okay, see, so Ancient Star is useless because they've already played their Luminion. Yeah. Either way, we want to make sure we have a full face card on anyways, right? Because if we can go full face card Gardevoir, give us 300 HP, which means Tina can't one-shot me as easily. We stack a Fantina on top. We're taking like 100, minus 180 damage. All right, let's see what they Luminion for here. What are they grabbing with Luminion? Probably the Chorus, right? Yeah, okay. No Marnie, just a Chorus. Thank heavens. I mean, they could do Abyss Seeking too, but if they stay in the active, I have the ability to knock them out with Lost Dive, which is really good. They're probably going to get another Giratina down. They could cram me this turn for 90, which would also be pretty annoying. Getting crammed here would suck, because then they could have a turn 2 Giratina on me. Not a fan of that. So we'll have to see what they end up doing here off Chorus. We'll see, we'll see. They could always put Luminion back in the deck, I guess, with, like, Mirage Gate or something, and then, like, they're able to, like, use it again, which maybe we have to watch out for. Um, so, I don't know. But Ancient Star, I don't think is ever really relevant in this matchup. Like, again, I shut off Luminion is not really relevant. If Giratina Star Requiem was an ability, then maybe. But it ain't, so it's not relevant. All right, what do they got? They do get rid of a Raw and a Capture Energy. Okay. Those are some interesting discards. The Rod is kind of important, too. They'd probably play Recycler, though, so... They can probably get the energy back. Big question here is, did they find a switch to move Giratina 2 to the Comfy? Or are they stuck doing Abyss Seeking? They are stuck doing Abyss Seeking. All right. So I have the ability to knock him out here, which is huge. Because they didn't get another Giratina down. Question will be, can I pull it off? Or will PDCGO not give me double turbo? So I think, do think we do with our Crobat here. So Bench, Evolve, Bench... Quick ball. Do I have Crobat? We do. I have all my double turbos. I have Bidoof at Barrel, right? Yeah, okay. Nope, I prized one, of course. But one moment. All right, we got a Crobat. We have to do as much digging as we can. And there we go. We found it with no problem. All right, let's do this. Grab you, grab you. Grab you. Attach double turbo. Uh, we'll bench Guru, but I don't really want to Primate Wisdom here. There's nothing I really want to get rid of. I think I want to hold Lake Acuity, too. Yeah, there's nothing in this hand I want to Primate Wisdom away. We're just going to take a knockout. Can't put Boss on top. Okay, that was a good... Eh, that was good. We lost a course, which kind of bad, bad, but we got Avery out of the prizes. Fighting's good. All right. I don't mind getting rid of the Battle VIP. Anytime we get rid of VIP is nice. We are working towards that Fantina, though. We have now milled five cards, which is putting us closer to Fantina. And if I could get Big Paracel on, Fantina, Big Paracel, they don't have Lost Vacuum. Mm, delicious. The big thing is we have a boss on their Giratina. So they bench a Giratina. I do get to boss it with Lost Dive, which is huge. They might end up Marnie me, though. Which might be a big deal. We'll see, though. A Marnie could be a big deal. Like, maybe I should have Quick Ball for Bidoof there. But... I don't want to get rid of anything in this hand. I want to keep everything. I don't want to get rid of my switches. Now, let's see what their plan is this turn. They could Chorus me. They could go Chorus. Or they could Cram me this turn. Right? They could hit me with a Cram for 90 damage. So maybe we should have played Lake Acuity. But if we can build up another Aerodactyl in the background, it's all good. Another Giratina. Yeah, we're going to have to boss KO that. Yeah. We're going to have to boss Lost Dive it. And we're at, what, 5 right now? They'll be at 8. We're close to Fantina close they are getting closer to star requiem too they have to get two giratinas down here or marnie me if they marnie me it could be bad i think i have luminion though 
Another reason not not bench Bidoof, because if we get Marnie into a Lumineon, I think I can still get boss. They might not I mean, I don't know if they'll concede or not. We'll see. They Ultra Ball here. They do get a Comfy. They could Mirage Gate. I mean, they could Shred me this turn. Shred does do 160 because it does go through Stone Energy and Gardevoir, unfortunately. They usually do 120. But they want to try to Shred me with, like, a Mirage Gate. Then it's like, I might just knock him out. I don't think that's a good idea. They may have to Marnie me. I don't think it would, Double Tina is a start. All right, that does help for my opponent quite a bit. That does help. Okay. Might have to find my Lost Vacuum, actually, to try to... Make it so my opponent doesn't have... I might have to find Lost Vacuum here to try to get the Fantina next turn. Because I'll, I'll be at 8 if I lost Dive again, right? And then I can't do Fantina the following turn, so we'll have to see. Maybe I should have kept Cram. Well, it's gone anyways. Maybe I should have gotten Cram, though. I don't know. No, there's a V-Star in the Lost Zone. They are now at 6. Now they're at 8. They're getting closer to Sableye, and I do probably need to find Big Paracel 2. Maybe I don't boss then. Maybe I just go, like, Avery or something. No, I think I definitely have to boss. Because we can win by going boss, boss, if we're lucky. All right, we'll see what they get rid of here. Uh, they just ditched the Sableye altogether. Okay. Yeah, I want to get my Parasol on. Because they're going to be able to start Requiem me next turn. Lost Impact won't knock me out, thanks to the the buffs we have. We have 300 HP right now, so start Requiem wouldn't knock me out. So it would have, either unless they cram me this turn. Uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Definitely have to boss one of the Tinas here. And then hopefully you get another Aerodactyl set up. And right, we'll see how it goes. I think I maybe want to hold Quick Ball then. Might have to hold the Quick Ball then for that reason. Okay, they're going Mirage Gate now. Let's see if they Shred. Doing Shred this turn isn't a bad play, but then at that point it's like I can still win. And then I can just like hold on to a boss, boss Luminion or something. Yeah, I really want to get to Fantina, though, so I can have an Aerodactyl survive a turn. Because they have the V-Star this active here, then Fantina can make it so Aerodactyl gets that tankiness we need. It doesn't protect Crobat, though, right? Minus 120, 180. Eh, maybe it does. With Gardevoir, it kind of does, actually. Crobat has 200 HP right now. Okay, they got the, they're got the spreading the energy out, which is smart. I don't think it matters what we boss, right? Well, how much energy are they down? They're down one Psychic. One, two Psychic. So I should knock out the Giratina to get rid of a third Psychic. Might be important. They still have another Comfy. I, I, didn't, I didn't even... That's crazy. They still have more Flower Selecting. I was not... Uh, I didn't realize that. We might get Rock Sand next turn, actually. They ditch Cram. Interesting. We might get Roxanne next turn, which we have to watch out for. It's I can't do much about a Roxanne, right? If I get Bidoof down, we have a bit of protection. Hmm. Another Quick Ball. It's not great. Should play that. I guess I can probably with some Rope and then ditch that with Lost Dive. Ooh, we got the big Paracel. Perfect. Now we're just going to hope they don't have the, the, what do you call it, the thing. Now we just hope they don't have the uh, Lost Vacuum knockout here with Star Requiem. Aw, oh, we lost a double turbo and Lost Vacuum. Oh, no. Oh, well, we got double turbo to the prizes, though. And Ultra Ball. Perfect. We got the Aerodactyl V-Star response for next turn. All right, we'll take it. Yeah, I had to play like a cutie because if I get Rock Sand here, I need to have a counter to that. We are at 5-8 right now. We're at 8 cards. Okay, we're at 8 cards. Let's see if they can take out Aerodactyl here. We have Big Paracel plus 300 HP. Let's see if they can... Well, 320 HP actually now. Yeah, we have 320 HP in total. They promote Tina. They most likely have the Mirage Gate. The reason I took out the Psychic Energy though, because maybe they don't have another Psychic Energy in the deck, right? They haven't taken a prize yet. There's a world where they don't, if we're lucky. I mean, they did spread the energy out, but it's, like, still important, I think, to take that out. Because if they run out of psychic energy, that's really good. They need a lost vacuum here to knock me out. They promoted the Tina, not a Comfy, which is pretty relevant. Question is, are they going to rock sand me, though? Getting rock sand would suck, because, again, I do like the hand. Mm, they do have Recycler. Okay. So they can get the psychic back. All right, so that was... That's fine. It was still correct to go after that anyways, but they had the Recycler. Force them to have the Recycler is nice. If they have Recycler, Vacuum, Mirage Gate, that's a little sus. And if they have a Roxanne, that's even more sus. 
So we'll see. <laughs> they could Marnie me, which would be pretty bad too, obviously. Okay, they got the gate. They got two of the cards they needed. It's kind of crazy. We have more cards in the Lost Zone than we do our discard pile. <laughs> but one more Lost Dive gets us to Fantina. But I also have game in hand, right? If they don't get rid of my hand, I just win my KO and Luminion. They can't knock out my Aerodactyl here. They can't one-shot Aerodactyl this turn with Giratina. It's only doing... Yeah, it's not doing enough. We have 320 HP in total right now. Plus Big Paracel. They can't Star Requiem me. Unless I have a Lost Vacuum. Big Charm, that's fine. Does that matter? Not really. I'm too shy of them anyways. Either way, I have game on Luminion. Alright, they got five cards. What do they got? Five cards in hand. Can they knock me out? If we actually sweep them with just a single Aerodactyl, that is kind of insane, to be honest. They don't have it. Let's go. Yo, the Aerodactyl sweep. We didn't even use Fantina in this matchup. That's crazy. We didn't even use Fantina. That is pretty mental, in all honesty, that we didn't end up using Fantina in this matchup. But we take those. We literally just won with a single Aerodactyl. That is mental. All right, we'll take it. That would have activated Fantina. But we'll take that dub. Aerodactyl beats Giratina. We'll take it. All right, see what we can do with Aerodactyl. We are up against Zoark. All right, Zoark is beatable. If they do play Dunsparce, it does complicate things. But we do have a lot of bulk on our side, which is nice. Our hand is not great, so we actually do need that mulligan there to help us draw more cards. A Battle VIP pass would go so hard here. Yeah, Battle VIP would be a spectacular top deck. Or an Aerodactyl. Or any ball card, for that matter. Let's see. No, Mirage Gate. It's not helping. Bidoof isn't, a, isn't bad. Unfortunate start, though. We weren't able to get an Aerodactyl turn one. Feels bad. Zork is beatable, though. We do have, again, the tank on our side is nice. Plus, we also have a... We can one-shot them also. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. Not the ideal opening I wanted, though, unfortunately. Would have liked to have seen another... Like, I would have not... Whiff, get Whiffing Terminator Aerodactyl is just really bad, right? So... It's unfortunate. There's the Sui and Zoark V. Okay, they do they have a Marnie? I'm a little scared they have a Marnie here. They're probably gonna get Crowbat. They don't have a Gape Drop Bog, it looks like, which is nice. They also don't Ultra Ball. They could have Ultra Ball there and then grab Gengar and then Quick Ball for Crowbat. Just tells me they have a good enough hand. They don't want to do that. No, they're playing Empoleon. That's fine. Empoleon is not a problem. It shuts off Primate Wisdom and Cram. Not a big deal, though. And they do have a Crobat. But again, no Gape Drop Bog gets played. So all this damage is kind of for naught. And they have less bench space for Dunsparce now. Which means Aerodactyl should be able to get a clean one hit KO. Okay, we'll see what they do here. I kind of don't want to lose Gardevoir though. I kind of want Gardevoir to not get KO'd. But, eh, not much you can do about it. We're really hoping Chorus bails me out here. Unless they have a Marnie. They don't have a Marnie. Okay, they do zero damage with Void Return. Are they going to switch? They go into Empoleon most... Yeah, they're probably going to go into Empoleon, I guess. If I had to guess, they go on, they're going to go into Empoleon here. No, they don't. They stay in the active. Interesting. Another course. I mean, I'll take it. The more, the merrier. Yeah, there's Battle VIP. It came at the wrong time, though, buddy. It's fine. We got Ultra Ball. As long as we get Aerodactyl, that's all I really care about. Fantina is kind of important in this matchup. Kind of like having Lost Vacuum. There's nothing else I want to get rid of, though. I kind of want to keep everything in the hand. I guess we can get rid of the fighting and play the double turbo. We still have plenty of fighting, so it's fine. We'll grab Aerodactyl. Would have liked to see Guru this turn, though, too. Yeah, I want to hold on to the Lost Vacuum if I can. Fantina's pretty important in this matchup. Zora can do a lot of damage. I can mitigate a lot of that damage if I can find Fantina. So we're going to hold on to Lost Vacuum. There's the V-Star. I mean, they're, bro, they're going to have to really pop off here to knock me out. I don't even think they're going to kill my Gardevoir, to be honest. They got to do, like, 150 damage. There's Gengar. They can finally put them in the discard pile, but even then, there's Gapejaw Bog. A little too late, though, for that. I don't think they can boss KO my Aerodactyl, right? I don't think so. They have 250 HP right now. And they have no damage in play other than a Gengar. They have a damage pump here, obviously. So they're definitely going to get some damage with damage pump here, most likely. Fine, though. That's why I want to hold Lost Vacuum. Lost Vacuum plus Chorus. If I can find Cram here, that'd be pretty nice. Cramming the Zork could be good. Ancient Star would have been good in this matchup, too, if we were going first. Shutting off Zork and Crobat isn't bad. And Empoleon's okay, too, so it's unfortunate. Nice. They lose Boss and Gapejaw Bog. Good discards. Good discards. 
Yeah, I definitely don't want to Avery them. Avery is off the table. It does help my opponent. We're really going to take advantage of the fact that they have, like, no damage on board here. I mean, they're going to find a pump this turn, most likely. So they're going to be able to, you know, get some damage on board. I have no doubt in my mind. But we'll see if they're able to really pull that off. They are down a damage pump. They should find one, though. It's unlikely they don't. Very unlikely. Oh, they got an Ultra Ball. Another Gengar in the discard, I imagine. There's no other, like, surprises, right? It's really just Zork, and they have, like, the one Empoleon or whatever. Waters. They're set up for Melanie, I guess. But if they're Melanie and me, they're not doing Marnie. There's Air Balloon. Okay. Two cards in hand. Or two cards draw, potentially, with the barrel. Can they find the damage pump? Because, I I mean, I prefer if Gardevoir didn't die here, on all honesty. <laughs> we'll see. Um... Because Gardevoir is actually relevant in this matchup, too, to give us more tank. Okay, two cards in hand. They have a... Okay, okay. They 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 can play their hand down. I imagine they're going to get one water back. I don't think they ever want to get two waters. I think it's definitely just one water here. Okay. Do they get one water back? What are they doing? Yep, okay. They get a Bibero for four. Unless they have another card in their hand they can play, then, hey, Bibero for five. Nope, Bibero for four. Can they find a damage pump? It's not enough to KO me, but it is still... Enough to get damage set up. Yeah, they do. Okay. There we go. They found it. That's fine. They're only doing 110 damage, so we aren't getting KO'd. All right. What do we draw? Lovely top deck. I think it's better to go Bib Barrel here because we can draw more cards. I think I'd rather Bib Barrel over Aerodactyl. So let's Chorus. Grab you, you, and. You, I guess. It's fine. Didn't get the V-Star. It's a fine, I guess. I mean, I could rock crush my opponent here. Right? What are we at right now? Four? Rock crush doesn't KO them, though. I don't want to put more damage on the board. I think I can't attack with that. Okay, here's what we'll do. Attach. Switch. Lost Vacuum. Away the full face guard. That feels bad. Get rid of the gape jaw. The barrel for three. Can I find the V-Star here? No. We got monkey though. I missed sequence that. I didn't I should not have been sent before that. That's yeah, fine. Where are we at right now? Five. We can barrage gate next turn. I am tempted a rock crush here. There's no point of attacking them though. I'm just gonna pass. They're not doing a lot of damage right now, so I'm not gonna bother doing an attack, obviously. We also can't one shot them, like Doing 200 damage. Like, yeah, getting rid of the energy is okay. Ooh, they do have a Marnie, though. Maybe I should have grabbed Guru. Yeah, maybe I should have grabbed Guru to Prime Wisdom. The Chorus on top. We still have a Barrel, though, so that's fine. There's there's that. Lake Acuity, too. Nice. Do they find a Counter Stadium? Can Well, not a Counter, but can they get another Gape Job Bog down? I do want to win the Stadium War if I can. Lake Acuity does help my opponent, but that doesn't really matter, though. I guess it makes Empoleon not one shotable, but that's fine. 70 damage. Dang. That did nothing. It's Fantina. So we're going to quick ball away Avery for Luminion. We're going to Chorus again. We'll do this. We'll grab Chorus. Do that. Bench that. Bit Barrel for three. Try to see the most amount of cards this turn. Okay, no Aerodactyl yet. Still no Aerodactyl. Damn. Where's he at, though? Okay, no V-Star is a little scary. Because we can do Fantina next turn. Oh, I need the V-Star, though. V-Star, please? Ah, uh, no. Damn it. Pass again. I pff, can't do anything. I need to find the V-Star before I do anything. They still can't knock me out. Again, they're only doing 70 damage here. And if I don't attack them, they can't do anything. That sucks, though. I can't believe I found the V-Star. That's actually insane. I didn't find it last turn, actually. The amount of draw I just did there, that is kind of wild. The more I think about it, that is pretty mental. That's fine. Okay. Still only doing 70 damage. There's still 50, even. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bu. What do we do? What do we do? Attach. Quick ball. The barrel for one, right? And pray. Nope. 
That's insane. Yo, Aerodactyl, where you at? Where's the V-Star? There we go. Holy moly. That took way too long. I actually probably get over the Aerodactyl, actually, instead of the Crobat. Maybe I should have kept Crobat. That's fine. We're closer to Fantina now, which is good. All right, Lost Dive for the KO. Ah, oh, we milled a Fantina. That's fine. We can do Fantina next turn if all goes well. Another Fantina's good. Stone Energy. Okay. So, yeah, we can start this. Fa we can start the Fantina spam next turn, which is good. We have 10 now. It took us a while, but they weren't doing anything anyways. Do they have a KO? We have 100 and... We have a lot of HP right now. We have Gardevoir, Full Face Guard, Stone Energy, Lake Acuity. We have minus 80 damage. We have 220 HP. They can get me, though, if they have Gengar Damage Pump. But then once we start the Fantinas, hopefully we're safe. I might get Marnie this turn, though, which sucks. I don't want to get Marnie because I don't want to lose the Fantinas, but we'll see. But yeah, we can go Fantina here and make them do, like, no damage to me. Give us some of that tank back. Okay, no Marnie. Nice. Just a research. But yeah, they... Oh, but they lose a damage pump. So that's one less pump they have now to try to get damage on their board. So that's good. And they scoop the game up. There we go. Now we have a video on the beefy Aerodactyl deck with those matches. The deck is kind of cool. Of course, Ancient Star can be useful in some matchups like Shadow Rider, which is starting to get a little bit more attention right now. And of course, Mew is also out there. Mew's a little bit more trickier, though, because you have to go first against Mew, because Mew can just obviously kill your Aerodactyl if they go first and you Ancient Star. But I do like this deck. The beefy Aerodactyl idea is pretty cool. And I'm glad I was able to figure out another cool Aerodactyl deck. So shout out to the person that did create the list. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to use Fantina that much. Fantina really didn't do too much in this video. We never really got to play her. So I'll have to figure out another deck to use Fantina in the future. Because, yeah, despite the fact that we have an insane amount of milling and loss zone, we never really used Fantina in this video. So it is what it is. Fantina ended up not being as useful as I thought she would be, unfortunately. The deck's cool, though. The bulkiness with Gardevoir, Stone Energy, Lake Acuity, Full Face Guard does give you a pretty fun kind of bulky Aerodactyl deck. And, of course, Lost Dive does do a decent chunk of damage. And being able to attack for two energy is nice. So I'm glad I figured out a cool Aerodactyl deck that we got to try out today. That uh, was a bit fun to play. I wouldn't mind maybe playing more draw in the deck. The Mirage Gates weren't as useful as I thought they would be. Um, so you can probably cut the Mirage Gates out, maybe add more draw. You could add a 2 tube a barrel. Uh, you could add, I don't know. You could definitely cut the Mirage Gates out. I didn't use them as much as I thought I would, right? So they're definitely cuttable. Um, but yeah, that'll be for me on the video on Aerodactyl, Beefy Aerodactyl. And if y'all enjoyed today's PC show video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. How am I on the road to reaching 30 4,000 subs. By the time this is uploaded, I don't know if we're at 34k yet. We are close. We are very close. If we are at 34k subs, thanks for helping me reach 34k. If we're not at 34k, hit that subscribe button right now to help me reach 34k subs down below. Check out Car Cabin down below. If you get any codes, use KLDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord down below. Check out the Shuffle Squad down below. And of course, today there will be a new podcast episode going live. So if y'all are into podcasts, definitely check out my podcast. It'd be greatly appreciated on the Shuffle Squad. That'll be it for me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.